So this is going to be part three of the living waters and the full armor of God. And if you're just watching this video, you have to watch uh, the previous two to keep up. I'm not going to keep going back and referring to the previous scriptures in this. I just want to add on to it to help you to understand it as a whole. So... What's been established by the word is that the waters are the peoples, nations, multitudes, and tongues that was shown to John in Revelation chapter 17, 15. And this can be found also in Revelation 8, verse 8. How the seas would become blood. And a lot of these false prophets, you see these ones that are talking about how uh, there's going to be rivers and whatnot that are going to turn to blood. That's not what the scriptures actually teach. And this is another way you can recognize their false prophets because they don't realize what the, the scriptures actually saying. They have no true discernment. So... <clears throat> What I had taught it that is that these ones are the Leviathans. It was never meant to mean a sea monster. Realize that the peoples are the sea. And what it teaches about the Leviathan in uh, Job chapter 41, how the, the, the Leviathan stirs up the waters, makes their blood boil, makes the waters boil and stirs the waters up, and see how these leviathans, these false prophets, are stirring you up. Understand that. They're stirring up the waters with their tongues, their language. They're stirring the peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues up with their waters. And in doing so, they're polluting the waters. They're polluting you with their words, and this is why they want you to listen to them and not be in the word of God because I'm going I'm showing you what God wants you to do. And this is why I told everybody on January to the 6th just be still. You just need to be still. And this can also be found this is important because as it talks about the waters, remember what's taught in Psalms in the book of Psalms that the Lord is your shepherd. He leads you to lie down beside the still waters. This is what he wants you to do. Don't be stirred up by these ones. This is what they want to get you to feed into that serpent-like behavior. So what I'm going to teach today is extremely important. It was never fully taught by Jesus to his apostles and it never has been because people never understood the waters. It was only to be the truth of the waters were only to be revealed now. So in Matthew chapter 14, uh, this is when, and this absolutely relates to uh, the previous chapters that I've taught about in Ephesians and other ones in this whole series about the armor and the living waters of God, the, the Samaritan woman, it, it all relates. And, uh, and also about the Leviathan, remember, and if you read that chapter, chapter 41 of Job, about the flaming darts, and you can find that in, in the, the armor of the Leviathan and how it compares to the what I've taught in Ephesians about the armor of God. Look at the relationship there between those two chapters. So, in the Bible, as an example, just to further proof, you have the Corinthians, and you have the Thessalonians, and there are the Leviathans and the Leviathans are the ones you seeing today are seeing today the false prophets that are stirring the waters that are making your the seas boil and stirring the waters. But understand 
what what Jesus was trying to teach his apostles when he sent them across across the waters by themselves as he prayed and realized that in that chapter Matthew 14 that they began amongst one another they had discord and realize how the waves began to crash and what I've taught about the blue and the red waves and how they crash amongst one another. So they were crashing amongst one another. And Jesus approached them, understand he was walking on the waters and he commanded them to be still and the waters were still realize that his words are the waters he was sent by his father to finish his father's works which is the word remember the father the heavenly father is the word what john 1 verse 1 teaches so the waters you need to be baptized in which is i've taught in the previous videos in this series is the Word of God, the Holy Bible. Realize Jesus came to finish the Bible with the New Testament. So you need the entire armor of God. And realize in Ephesians 6 what it talks about being having peace, putting on that peace. You need to find peace. You need to find either a church, congregation, that is not consumed with discord and have found peace. You have to find your peace in the word and you can only do this by drinking those waters. Now some important notes that I've taken that I want to leave you with is uh, just a couple of statements to leave you with. Do not be distracted and consumed by the waters and words of the false prophets. They are trying to draw your attention away from the true word and its foundation that you can stand and walk on with Jesus. This is what he was trying to teach them in Peter. Realize in that chapter, he asked Peter to come out and walk on the waters with him. His waters, which is the Holy Bible, a strong foundation of faith and belief and truth of the word. But when Peter got out there, he was distracted again. He got out on the waters and was distracted. And this is what these Leviathans, these false prophets want to do to you. Distract you from the word, from the word of God, the Holy Bible. They want you to hear their words and be consumed and be stirred up by their words. So understanding that. Realize that the Holy Bible is your moral compass that will help you to navigate the waters and find the still waters instead of the turbulent waters. And this is what these false prophets are doing. They want to distract you like Peter, like what happened to Peter and what Jesus was trying to teach him. And realize that when he was distracted by the other's words, the waters, their waters began to consume him. He was being drowned in those waters. So do not be drowned, consumed, or have your faith washed away by those waters and words that are polluted by false prophets because they have no truth in them. The only truth is the Holy Bible. And remember about the parable of the house built on sand and what I've taught about it. When you build your house, which is, is your faith, on the foundation of the false prophet's words and not the holy word, it's built on sand. And as each wave comes, it is slowly washed away. And their waves are these prophecies that don't come to pass these delusional waves and how they're inciting violence. So,
understand this also, and this is something else I've taught. And what Jesus was talking about, and what I've, I've taught about in my video titled The Climate. So, when you see it storming outside, don't you get prepared by putting on a raincoat, uh, rubber boots perhaps, and sometimes even an entire, what's called a slicker suit that protects your entire body from the storm. Understand that. So if you see that it's storming outside, you're going to absolutely protect yourself. So you see the storm that's occurring, these turbulent waters, the language that's being used, and this is why it's more important than any other time to put on the full body armor of God like you would a slicker suit before you go out into a storm. And that full body armor is your faith. And the, the way you get this is through the word, the Holy Bible. You can't get this from me. You can't get it from any other place than the Bible. The Bible is the prophecy from beginning to end. If prophecy does not line up with the Bible and it cannot be tested with the Bible, then it is false prophecy. So now that you see everything that's happening, there's no more important time than now to put on the full armor of God because you see the Leviathans that are attacking, that are stirring up the waters in every nation worldwide. You see the storm that is occurring. You see the change in the climate. And you have seen this over the last year, a little over a year. You've gradually seen it increase, but it's increased exponentially in just the last year. So understand why it's more important now than any other time to put on the full armor of God. Read the chapters that I've given to you. See that these ones and the political officials that are doing it too, all the ones that are stirring up the waters, these are the Levi Athens, the tribe of Levi, the priest that were the ones that encouraged the people to worship and idolize a false god when Moses went up on the mount to receive the commandments. These were the Levi Athens, just like you have the Corinthians and the Thessalonians. You're being taught things that were never taught before, people. Pay attention. Share the message. Teach others the truth. And there's only one truth, and that is the Holy Bible. You can't get it from me. You got to go to the Word itself and realize that Jesus came to finish his Father's works, just like the Bible says. And God is the Word just like John 1 verse 1 states. Jesus came to finish that, the Old and then the New Testament. Stay in the Word, people. Be aware of the Leviathans that are all around you. Go to Psalms. Seek those still waters, those peaceful still waters that are Jesus and the Holy Word so that you can walk with him. This is what he tried to teach the apostles. His words, his waters are a strong foundation that are so strong that you can walk even on turbulent waters, but they will also help you to navigate the turbulent waters and find the peaceful waters. This is what he wants. This is why it states in Psalms, he maketh you lie down beside still waters. Stay in the word, people. God bless.